Hello everyone, it is me again, Ezreal here, back with some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's been a while simply because, well, <clears throat> I kind of got very angry at this stealth faction. As far as I can tell, I require special armor. So, I'm not even gonna try. Because I don't have special armor. So, let's try... Actually, speaking of which... Let's actually do the Trial of the Sword. Assuming, of course, it's not locked to the DLC. Because uh, that thing is always locked to the DLC. <laughs> Seriously, why a DLC for like a fully pop metaphor? here. Us Corcrokes all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. Although you may not need them, since you already pulled the month of the level. These trials have to grow even stronger than you are now. Among them is an extra tough one. That's not like me, the elder of the Corcrokes. So, uh, bad. Ah, uh, he doesn't want first wife, boy. The Korok Trials, long story short, you visit all the shrines in the Korok Falls that you can be considered a real grown-up. It is a ceremony that every Korok must undertake, and is based on the trial of the legendary hero himself. I've done it, so I test them. And then out there, and her too, and even the great Ducky Tree himself has done it. How? Okay, the last part of the lie is pretty rooted. <coughs> trial run. In the southwest forest, the, the the trial of second sight. <coughs> trial two. In the northwest forest, the lost pilgrimage. <coughs> trial three. In the eastern forest, the test of wood. You can overcome the coral cries, You can overcome anything. You also appears with some wonderful prizes for you. <coughs> now show what me. Will you do it? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Let's track it. Don't start climbing for no reason. <sighs> no, nope, not going in there again. So for some reason in this area the game just starts tanking in frame rate. I don't know why. Probably because there's too much blooming crap here. Seriously, I'm not. Would you be coming? But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest of the coral trials. But it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip the coral weapon set and reach the shrine in, in the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? Yes. <laughs> Alright, go get him. You, ha you have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you're unequipped, then you're out. Huh? Your inventory's full. Bollocks to that then!
Wait, do I still have that apple? Oh, okay, good, okay, good. I know what that, what that entailed, it's a freaking apple. Let me just leave that there. Seriously, I need more inventory space. Quite easy to find the great deck tree now, isn't it? I say it, it's slide down and almost die. Everything takes so long in this game. It's like, oh, I want to go to the other part of the map, for, like to the, like the Garuda Desert, or whatever. Well, I would try to fast traveling. If I haven't gone there yet, I'm going to be here for a million years. Even though I am going to be there for a million years because I don't know how to stealth. Small red round and sweet. Bring me one this little tree. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> right. Apple. Hold. <laughs> you got it. Next for the list. Cocoa converted fishes the fruit is a rock it's rock hard flesh is quite resolute. Rock hard flesh. This is flesh, it can't be rock salt. It's rock hard flesh. It's white. Resolute. No, nope, not right then. I don't know, okay? How about we go do something that is actually...
Actually, let's try with old memories. No adventure log. Added the wrong one entirely. Album. Well, I know where that is. First time with the Kakariko village. So that I can see that one guy is there. <laughs> but it can't rain inside of a thing now, can it? Wish it could. But stealth is literally impossible on every single game that has it. Well, impossible for me anyways. Do not like stealth. Oi, dude! <laughs> eh? Well, that seems to be near Hyrule Castle, but I don't want to go near there because I'm going to explode. I need to see the other divine beasts, so I need to see the other races. Because it's recommended that I do the one in the Greater Desert last, because it's the hardest boss. Even though I think Water Bright was the hardest. Then again, I was just being a, an idiot. So. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, oh crap. No. I forgot that one was literally in lava. So what the line these even is that? Actually, what race even is this? Because we've seen the Rita. Not Rita. What am I saying? 
it is the we, I might be meeting them now actually, but we met the forgot their name because I'm very tired people. Zora, that's their name. Look, I'm tired. Okay, it's one in the morning. You should have met the girls in Gerudo Desert. So, naming that up here is Dorito. Rita? How do you pronounce that? I don't care anymore. Because it seems to be high up. But it can't be because it's near lava. Well, they could be high up and get in lava. Mifa's grace is ready. Thank you, Mifa. Don't need to freaking steal the crap out of me. I need to get to that tower, but it's like guarded by everything. <laughs> Is it guarded? Oh no, it seems to just be a regular tower that isn't covered in its trillion enemies. <laughs> Though it's a very hard time to get to there. But I think you should, I think I should get the tower first so that I can see where I'm going. What did I say earlier? Yeah, it's covered in many enemies. Okay, so a fire slime isn't gonna do much harm. So as I just think it one shot me because I'm not used to fire in this game. Oh shit. It's a lot of fire slimes. Gonna avoid them. Good thing they can't hear me because they don't have any ears. Or maybe they can hear me because they're able to see the vibration of sound. I don't know. Actually, it makes more sense for them to be able to hear you by vibrations instead of like actual sound. Because they are just slime. They're very easy to just shake about. Apparently they're covering the entire pass, but good thing this is best as a ward and they're able to climb up literally any mountain. Like, I'm so glad you're able to climb up a crap in here, because I know, I know, it defeats the point of the game by avoiding enemies, but... Would you want to find an enemy you know you're not ready for yet? And then just potentially die over and over and over. That would not be a fun game then, wouldn't it? That's the reason why the stealth section isn't fun. Because you, there's no way to, to, to do anything you want. You have to do it in a specific way, or otherwise you might just, you will, you will literally get one shot because for some reason the Yiga clan are able to one shot you for no reason. I don't know why, but they are. Even though in the very same memory that was in that part of the world, Link beat the crap out of the Yiga clan.
with the master sword. I have the master sword. <laughs> also, I saw the stuff at the um oh Elden. I'm just confused what what race meeting now then. But anyways, I saw this a child this when I first got the, the the master sword, but then I remembered. You actually have to, um, you actually have to, uh, you actually have to get the DLC, which makes no sense. I mean, why make something that should have been part of the base game, a DLC? That should have been part of the game from the beginning. <sighs> Maybe it's probably due to time constraints. Because this game seems to be the most polished game out of all of the Legend of Zelda series. Because, really, the only glitches here are oversights. Because you're able to, like... I think it's specifically on the Wii U version as well. You're able to teleport inside of a wall if you have a horse backed up against the wall. And then you're like, well, I think it's only a Pona, because a Pona you're able to teleport to. So it's like... So it's like you need to teleport to a pona. And like it glitches you into a wall. But that doesn't really need that doesn't really seem to be a glitch. It seems to be more of an oversight with teleporting system. And also, there's that soft lock glitch with um, the horse that if you're able to put any horse into the teleportation location for a shrine, and it will just glitch you, glitch you out entirely. That also is another oversight with, well, objects being in the way. Because the glitch normally is something that isn't supposed to happen, period. It's basically, you broke a mechanic, and now it's acting weirdly. But, the glitches that we found here, they're not even breaking the game's mechanic. That is literally how the game mechanics interact with each other. So this game is like, super polished. So maybe you didn't have enough time to put in the other part of the game. Even though, why sell it for money if you can just give it to us for free? I mean, Splatoon is the same thing, right? They didn't have enough time to put everything in at the beginning of the game, or at least launch day. And so then they had to give it to us in free updates. Because everyone likes free stuff. Like Windows 10. Oh, I get it. In the Gerudo Desert, we met the Gerudo. Oh my god. That's Death Mountain. Actually, I, um... You know, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm wondering where this game fits in the Zelda timeline. And I remembered. I actually watched a 
Jesus Christ, no! Water must fire now. I don't do it too well. Dang it, I can't eat that. Run. You will not have any food. Probably should put away my bow, shouldn't I? Oh my god, my sight is on fire. Oh, it heals. Never mind. Cause it's like a, it's like a, it's like a hot spring. <laughs> I don't think it was a good idea to hit the Death Mountain right now, huh? Going fast, going fast. Oh my god, I'm burning. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Run! Run! If you go fast... Oh! He resists my patootie. Oh god, I'm going to die. It is my pleasure. It's called Death Mountain for a reason though, I think. I'm using that glitch. Oh, 